about us. On by the PH stable, lost revenue stable, by Abata and rich and poor stable of New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Luxembourg, pair Henriksen trains and drives a three-year-old filly by Armbro Goal. Five, speeding down the lane, owned by Jim Longfellow of Carmel, Indiana. Dirk Simpson, the trainer, John Campbell is up. Another daughter of Lindy Lane, five, speeding down the lane. Six is Do Re Mi, on by the Joie de V Farm of Jobstown, New Jersey. Pair Erickson trains. Eric Ledford gets the call. A filly by Pine Chip. Seven is Judge Judy, on by Doug Ackerman Stables, Inc. of Laporte, Indiana. Doug Ackerman trains. D.R. Ackerman drives. The three-year-old Garland Lobel daughter. Eight, Rompaway Tricia. On by Rompaway Farms, Inc. of Battle Creek, Michigan. Mark O'Mara trains and drives the filly by Armbro Goal. At number nine, winning chip. On by Animat Miner of Delray Beach, Florida. Dwayne Miner trains and drives another filly by Pine Chip. That's the field. 129,000 on the line. And a major stepping stone toward, toward three-year-old trotting filly of the year in this race. First heat of the World Trotting Derby for Phillies. Here they come. They're off and trotting in a beautiful start. Judge Judy will lead them on the outside of her. Rapaway Trisha gets out second. Far outside, rushing third comes Benedicta Jet down along the inside. Getting away well is Yankee Topaz. Still a three-way battle for the lead. Judge Judy had it, but on the inside, sneaking up, there's Yankee Topaz. Now she leads for McGee momentarily. Judge Judy on the outside now takes command. Rapaway Trisha is third. Fourth to the inside, victory my way. Five is Vikings Goddess trotting six. Del Rey Me. Seven is Family Trust racing eight now. Benedicta Jet nine as they race past the quarter is winning chip and after mistake still off stride and speeding down the lane is 10 they're off the turn down the back stretch 27 one good front quarter to the outside there goes yankee topaz and mcgee quickly moves her she's now on top before the half she leads it by a length a length and a half and underway on the outside here comes victory my way miller sends her early she is pursuing the lead before the half and she has it on the outside victory my way takes over yankee topaz covered second moving up comes vikings got his third locked in for judge judy fifth on the outside Ranging up comes Do Re Mi to the inside, racing six now. As they race around the turn is Rompaway Tricia. They drive off the half in 56 seconds. They're headed toward the three-quarter. Nine are in contention. The leader is Victory My Way. Second as they drive that way, and only a length and a half off the lead is Vikings Goddess. Now here comes a very fresh Do Re Mi, and she's charging toward the front. Behind her, underway is Family Trust. Racing uh, on the outside, also moving up, is her stablemate, Benedicta Jet. They've just raced past the three quarters and the leader now at the top of the lane is victory my way soon to move to the outside of her will be do re me they were there in 125 they're in the final eighth mile and here comes do re me to the outside family trust is with her as i race through the lane but the leader is victory my way family trust is second do re me is third and at the wire it's going to be winning the first heat of the world trotting derby for phillies victory my way family trust was two tight photo for three in that photo will be Do Re Me and Rompaway Tricia, fifth to Benedicta Jet. Judge Judy was six, Yankee Topaz seven, winning chip was eight, trainer Jimmy Tactor. And that is one of many trips that Jimmy Tactor has made into DuCoin's Victory Lane where he has won the World Trotting Derby for Colts and Phillies a number of times, and he too is an accomplished driver. Just yesterday, we saw him finish second with a pacing filly here in Illinois bred. So Jimmy Tactor, recognized as one of the leading trainer drivers ever from the very prolific nation of Sweden, vis visits the familiar victory lane at DuCoin. With him, his wife, Christina, the Tim Wilson family of Martinsville, friends of the Tactors, and owners McDuffie Walsh and Liverman. There she is, handily in 54 and 4, winning the first heat for Phillies. Victory, my way. Tactors' father, 
Also a prominent driver 